getting a little bit of your peace, love, and light to all of you beautiful souls. Thank you for tuning and tapping in. Thank you for clicking on the video. If you are here, that means this was divine timing and in divine order. I was definitely motivated and encouraged by spirit to give you all a bonus reading. Uh, so we're going to tap into the energy of one of the messages that came to me. And this is literally what I heard. Um, and it is the following. You must walk in your authority of your royalty. So walk in the authority of your royalty, Scorpios. Don't question. Don't second guess. Just walk in that power and in that knowingness. When you walk in the knowingness, that's you trusting your own intuition. That's you trusting and not questioning, not second guessing. None of that. You're just walking. If you get an inclination or a message or feel a nudge or a pull or a call to just completely disassociate with something, whether it be an idea, whether it be a group of people, whether it be a job, it is your duty to trust that inkling because that is your connection straight to the divine. And whatever you're feeling, you must trust that and you must know that that was a calling on you. That was a message for you. So I say that because I know within my own self, there's a lot that is surfacing. Um, and I know that is the reason why I'm seeing nines. Uh, I said nine. So nine may be um, coming out in this reading. Nine, I'm seeing the hermit. I'm seeing the nine of pentacles, that pre empress status where you worked very hard. Um, very laborious and now there's reward you know um, but sevens are the numbers I've been seeing and it's seven on the clock 412 seven is all that I've been seeing and I would like to take a time to show you yesterday I was actually trying to post this on my YouTube as like um, you know a um, what is it um, when you do the little um, not a post, not a short, but it is, uh, yes, yeah, a post, pardon me. So I was trying to upload these pictures, um, to you all, but apparently you can only upload five. And what's very interesting is I want to show you, I'm going to show you the video that I actually were, was trying to upload and YouTube was giving me a problem. So I would like for y'all to take a look at this video so if you look this is me showing you all the sevens I've been seeing and I want you to take a look at that and what was interesting was even after seeing that the video was 43 seconds and this is from yesterday So this was the video. And if you look at the time, it was 11, it stopped at 1138. So that was very interesting. But if you look closely, this video right here is the video. Oh, I clicked on it, my bad. But you can see clearly it says 43 seconds, 43. So seven has been very, very profound. Um, we all know there's no such thing as accidents. There's no such things as coinky dinks or coincidence. Everything is divine timing. Everything is divine order. It was just 619 when I looked at the clock. So yet again, another message for you all. So this is going to be, like I said, a bonus reading because I do want to tap in. I just feel like spirit has something more to say to Scorpios. Um, and I've personally asked that this not be focused solely on love. I mean, if love comes out, fine. But what I'm really wanting and uh, not even wanting, what I'm really focusing on um, in this particular reading is energy period. 
Um, I want to see what messages outside of love coming in, outside of a past person that's feeling however they're feeling, outside of you overcoming your obstacles, overcoming, you know, those traumatic experiences, healing from your past traumas. Outside of that, I want to see what else spirit has to expound upon uh, because I strongly feel like there's um, something deeper that is erupting and it is coming to surface whether we desire it or not it is absolutely coming to surface um yesterday my daughter was doing her own reading and she likes for me to shuffle the cards for her because she's learning to do um she's learning tarot she's feeling her own calling to learn cardamassi um and so i shuffled the cards for her because she's still learning how to do the bridge and you know and what did we have when i looked at both decks it was seven uh, personal growth. It was seven seven um, spirituality, and then there was um, another seven, um, which was oh man, don't get me to lying. It's in the numerology deck, but it was all sevens. It was seven 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 seven. So I say all of that to say that uh, this number is coming up not for. Um, just happenstance, you know, like there's absolutely a message. Uh, and I do feel like many of you all are, are teachers, you are master teachers. And I feel like you are absolutely being um, called to start moving in the direction of discovering what your life purpose is, if you don't know already. Uh, because I feel there is absolutely a calling on your lives. There is a calling. Um, I went and got gas yesterday, um, and it came up to 2014. I just wanted to top off my gas. 2014, another seven. After seeing sevens all day long, that's what I, you know, my, my receipt has rung up as seven. So we're going to tap in, beloveds, and I am absolutely focusing on just the energy and not necessarily um, love. As I said, I can't change what messages come out, but I am specifically calling spirit and the angels and the ancestors and asking them to provide us with a spiritual message for our beloved Scorpios. Uh, because as I said, I received the download um, and that download stated that, um, and I want to repeat it exactly how it came. Um, come on now, how do I get all the way to the top of my messages? Like that's so weird. Um, it says walk in the authority of your royalty, beloveds. Walk in the authority of your royalty. So that is the message and that will be the title of this particular reading today. Um, as I'm looking at my clock, look what time it is. 347, which is 7, 7. So there's definitely spiritual, um, a spiritual message that will be coming out. And I feel some of you all are having a spiritual awakening. Uh, some of you that are tuning and tapping in for the first time, welcome, beloveds. Um, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clear audience. So during this reading, you will hear me playing music and the way that it works, the name of the song, artists within the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock or even a number associated with a song that's playing that will correlate to what I may be channeling as well as what is coming out intuitively um, or what is coming out with the cards, pardon me. Um, and it all just blends very beautifully. It's all like magic, beloveds. Um, my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, let it fly by. Go check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. And I... Um, also provide uh, timeless readings. So whenever this video was found, you whenever it showed up in your feed and you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing, beloveds, for you to do so. Um, I welcome you if you are new. I will that my energy, the way that I read, the messages that come through resonate for you. Um, I will that my energy vibes with yours. To all of you all who are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Um, 
So we're going to proceed with the read. Uh, I do want to let you all know I'm going to start performing uh, sound baths. I'm going to start doing sound bath therapy sessions. Uh, they're going to be about, Spirit told me to do them um, 34 um, minutes um, in duration. It's going to be 30, 34 minutes. Uh, it may it may change to 3434 depending upon how I feel. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like stop exactly at 34 seconds. So 34 minutes will be the duration because um, I'm picking up that that number seven. Um, if it's not 34, it'll be 25 minutes, uh, 25 minute uh, sound bath sessions. So we're gonna go ahead. And we're going to do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the re beloveds. I will each and every one of you beautiful souls and in a sound mind and body. I will you all are doing your due diligence to stay in a high vibration. I will the some of you all with whom that message of eating uh, lighter, eating more healthier, um, eliminating certain uh, meats and things like that out of your livets um, resonated for you and you are pursuing that. Um, I'm thinking about doing like a um, a fast for February 1st. I'm just feeling like I need to like jump start a fast and we could all do it together because you know how they say when you have a support system, you're more successful because you have people that are going to hold you accountable. Um, I mean, even though we are to hold ourselves accountable because who you are when no one is looking is your actual character. So... You know, I'm talking about so, but I just feel for the essence and for the, um, just for the sake of doing something as a unit, as a family, as a tribe, uh, motivating and encouraging one another. Um, and so, you know, we, we could all touch base, like maybe once a week I'll do a live where we all could, you know, build and talk about you know, how we're feeling, what we're going through, you know, what we're purging, what's coming to, um, you know, what's coming to us if we desire to share. Because some of those things may be just, you know, meant for you. Some of those downloads you may receive during those, um, during that, that time of fasting. It may be solely for you. Just like I said, when I get a download, I know when it's something that I should just hold for myself sacredly or when I am expected to share that message. So we, I'm, I'm really getting a lot of downloads about how to to do diff, do things differently um, just for the sake of healing. Um, we all need to heal. We all need uh, a support system. Many of us are the black sheep, white sheep in our family. Many of us are, you know, walking this journey alone. So it is a beautiful thing when you can find a tribe of people that are like-minded. We may not agree on everything, every topic. I don't expect y'all to. I know there's certain things that I may say that y'all are like, mm, I don't know about that. And that's completely fine because I would not want anybody to agree with everything I say because that would be called a yes person. Um, but what I don't desire is the negativity, um, you know, that comes along with, you know, you can have your own opinion. There's no, I, I don't have no problem with that. But when people come with the intention to uh, cause um, some type of distraction or argue or, um, you know, just coming in with that energy of contempt. And it's just like, go, go somewhere and find somebody that you can argue with. Cause I don't, I don't have that type of time. Um, the energy here I love is, it's just love and light. It's just peace. It's like, you can speak how you need to, you can say what you need to say, but the moment the lines are crossed from respect, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what like, I've, I've been feeling like, uh, the 42 laws of my art that's been coming up. So I've been reading that, um, you know, every night before I go to bed and every day before I wake up just to hold myself accountable of not committing any of those, uh, those laws, you know, and so that I could hold, um, you know, something sacred throughout the day and keep myself, um, accountable as I said so we we we, we there's going to be some changes change is necessary change is a good thing uh we are all fixed signs so that could be sometimes um it could be a battle to, you know to to uh try to surrender to something new you know um but it is a necessary thing uh that's why we are so successful once we go through that transformation or we have a startling metamorphosis we usually take off um, 
So we're going to go ahead, do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read, beloveds. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's see what we got playing on the playlist, beloved. And it is officially four on the clock. So four is the vibration of the divine masculine. Four is also a number of stability, security, sturdiness. Four could also be about reflecting, healing, um, recovering. Uh, four could also be about protecting your energy um, and really, you know, planting seeds as necessary. Uh, we have the Commodores and this is called Zoom. So the Commodores is a group that uh, Lionel Richie originated in or from. And so um, Zoom, really the Commodores, if, if I'm not mistaken, the Commodores has something to do with like, um, like a senior naval seal or some, something to do with water. My father was in the Navy. Um, so that could be my father. That four, like I said, is that divine masculine energy. Some of you all may have an umi, a father. I said a umi, a baba, pardon me, um, or a father. Uh, that could be in the spirit realm. That could be coming through. They could have been in the military uh, because that four, the emperor, is like the authoritarian, but he does have that background in either military, law enforcement, um, maybe security. Um, so some of you all may have, you know, uh, a father figure that watches over you. Um, some of you all could just be in that energy of really standing your ground, um, really making things happen, uh, being in a boss energy, that leadership role, uh, very focused and determined and you sh you will succeed in that emperor or even empress energy even if it's not a masculine it could be a feminine I'm picking up on uh, that's really in that energy of like self mastery um, you've gone through those lessons and you are uh, powering ahead you know uh, four is that number that's also associated with the heart chakra so i feel there's a sense of like emotional intelligence um being very wise being able to pick up on not just energy but body language um being able to also you know speak love language being able to connect with your higher selves or connect with others because you have done the necessary work when you are a leader others look to you for guidance so some of you all could be guiding others healing others leading others because i strongly feel many of you are teachers master teachers some of you are reiki healers sound therapists some of you could be shamans some of you may hold ceremonies some of you may be uh into like enthenogens where you may hold uh you know ceremonies and you know you may be um kind of like uh, sitting with others while they're going through their experiences. Uh, some of you may be, uh, like I said, uh, shamans, where you could be doing some psychic surgery, um, channelers, where you could be helping others navigate through certain past life trauma. Maybe you're astrologists or you're studying astrology or astronomy uh, so that you could better not only heal yourself, um, and free yourself from any past life 
um, traumas, but you're also expected to provide those same um, skill sets that you have acquired uh, to others to help them heal from the traumas that you have since healed from. So whatever you've healed from, you are being ordained, you are being called, you are chosen to help others that come after you, whether that be in your own bloodline, family lineage, or just people in general uh, that may come to you for that same healing that you just provided yourself. As they say, every great healer has to first heal themselves. Um, and, you know, as I said, with that Navy reference of the Commodore, um, just the water reference, you know, the Navy deals with the water, the ships, the, un, you know, the submarines. Um, so that's about going deep. That's about deep diving. Um, water is also about healing. You're a water sign. So it's really about you healing from things that could be sitting deeply. As I was feeling earlier, like there's things that are kind of unlocking, erupting, um, whatever's been lying dormant. It's kind of like it's being um, almost like loosened, freed uh, so that you can deal with it, so that you could heal it. So that's a beautiful energy, beloved. Um, so let's tap in. Let's pick up some energy. Let me see what we got coming in, going out, going on from the numerology deck. Give me one moment, beloveds. All right. Pardon me, y'all. So let's tap back into this energy. Love spirit, what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful, wow, look at this. This is the second time this message has come out for you. Now, mind you, I just told you <laughs> that I used these cards, you know, and look, it just fell out. I'm, I'm putting the cards back. These, how many cards are these? And there's a card in here, this, oh, wow. <sighs> Y'all got some messages already. Bottom of the deck, we got 14. That's five. This is a very, very spiritual um, energy that I'm picking up because the five, that's associated with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is really about counsel, seeking wise counsel. It's about tutelage. Some of you all could be reading sacred scriptures, spiritual um, amulets. Some of you all, I'm, I'm hearing Apocrypha. Some of you all could be reading, you know, some sort of... Um, templates you know maybe you're learning how to read like uh hieroglyphics you're trying to learn that metuneter some of you all could be reading but this is about studentship you know this is that energy of learning you know you're gaining an awareness you're you're learning from the feet you're sitting at the feet of an elder a master teacher some of you all could just be building your own spiritual strength by reading sacred scriptures or reading certain materials and documents and 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 uh gaining obtaining that wise dome you've you've put a you know because we have dmx rising power uh the locks featuring dmx and it's called um it, it's called bout isht <laughs> uh, and so I feel like anything that is not of substance you're getting rid of you know and remember DMX I always remind y'all that DMX is an acronym for dark man X let me take my glasses off beloveds sister had to go get some glasses <laughs> you know what I'm talking about I had to get some glasses I bought a bunch of books last summer couldn't read a ting. I was like, oh, snizaps. I went from having perfect vision to needing glasses. But I digress. But with this um, bout isht, I feel like anything that was not of substance or value, you got rid of it. And you instead went into a very, um, very, um, how could I say, studious energy. Just soaking up all the knowledge that you can. Some of you all could be watching like documentaries, building your wealth of knowledge for whatever it is you are meant to do. You're like building that spiritual sense, that spiritual strength, because it's as if you've received that download of what your purpose, your path, your mission is, where it is you are to focus that creative and artistic or spiritual energy because this five is associated with the throat chakra. 
So some of you all are going to be like orators, communicators, um, healers. You may sing. You may provide some gift where you are uh, channeling from your higher self. So this is very studious. So you could be learning, as I said, from like maybe a shaman. Some of you all could be holding sacred ceremony or you're sitting in on sacred ceremony, learning how to perhaps uh, perform um, certain like, uh, I, I was picking up like ethenogens, um, which is like mushrooms. Um, you could be hold, you know, going through that like kind of like that rite of passage, if you will. Um, some of you all could be even like doing toad medicine. Maybe you're looking to do ayahuasca. Whatever it is, it's a sacred, sacred, um, it's a sacred uh, lesson that you are learning and obtaining. And this lesson that you are obtaining leads to some sort of spiritual career. Like I was saying earlier, before I even touched the cards, that I felt strongly that you all are called, you're chosen, you are anointed with a gift. And it is your duty, especially in the seven universal year, you are to unwrap that gift, whatever that is. And you could be doing just that because this is that energy where you are um, absorbing and soaking up all the no the ledge that you can you're knowing the ledge, which is knowledge, you know, and doing the data and wising the dome. Those are all the steps to 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 uh, accessing, you know, a deeper, more profound understanding of life or even just, you know, that self mastery overall. But this is powerful. And in order to do that, you have to 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 you have to heal from past traumas you have to heal thyself in order for you to get to the latter which is to know thyself so in the middle of healing thyself you have to love yourself enough to know there's healing to be done you know what i'm talking about so this is very beautiful so we have um genius of love see that and what was i saying earlier we got genius of love this is by tom tom that's what it says tom tom the Tom Tom Club, if you see that. So genius of love is just telling me that that's like someone who has um, emotional intelligence. So you have mastered uh, thyself. Just as I said, you got to first heal thyself in order to know who you are. And so with this genius of love, whatever you've learned through your tutelage, through your um, great awakening, spiritual awakening, um, is now how you are to start healing others or imparting that wise dome onto others, teaching them. Those were the great changes that were necessary. You learned those things through a karmic cycle, completing karmic lessons. This is why you went through something karmic to begin with. Karma isn't just from this lifetime. It could be baggage from former lifetimes. And that is why it's very important to do the work. The longer people take to look in that mirror and do that shadow work, you may find yourselves reincarnating here several lifetimes until you look in the mirror and realize that that reflection of whatever negativity that is being projected onto others, because a lot of times they say what you see in others is a reflection of what you are. And so that's why it's important to do the shadow work. So say, for instance, just to break it down for sake, if you are, for instance, a feminine energy and you see another feminine energy and you just automatically start doing the stank face and you looking at them like, ew, I can't. That's some shadow work you need to do because you are projecting your insecurities onto that feminine energy that has nothing to do with what you're feeling. They just live in their best life and you know what I'm talking about? Like they're just minding their business, but you're finding some fault in them for just being themselves. So that is the work you have to do. You have to figure out what that is, where the root of that, that insecurity lies and heal that so that moving forward, you celebrate your sister in, you celebrate your sister, you celebrate that feminine energy because she is a reflection of you and vice versa. Ashe, so this beautiful energy. So let's see what came out for y'all. So we have rebirth. 
So this is the startling metamorphosis. This is that energy of transformation. You have to transform in many ways. There has to be a death of an old version, an old cycle, an old mindset, something that was no longer serving your greatest good. Scorpios usher in new cycles. We are the, the conduits of change. We transmute the energy. So we turn the pain into power. As I said, we go through great experiences. We are fixed. So we can be very stubborn in that right. Not wanting to go through you know, the change and dealing with the alterations. But it is a very necessary process because it leads to victory. It leads to a sense of, you know, a major breakthrough, if you will. But this beautiful energy of rebirth is showing that there's a new you emerging. So whatever you've gone through, you went through the root chakra, which is ruled by Scorpio. That is the chakra which represents life and death. That is the chakra that is also called the base chakra. So you worked your way all the way from the basement to the crown. So it's like heavy. Now remind you, they say heavy is the head that wears the crown. So to much to whom much is given, much is expected. So you've been through what you've been through, those karmic lessons, those much those karmic cycles, you've learned those, you know, whatever it was you needed to learn in those experiences, and now you have ascended to this energy, which is the seven, which is now you powering ahead because you found that emotional balance. You found that 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 I should say just cause that your purpose now you're moving forward with vigor you know with tenacity you know with confidence with with a focused intention now because you've discovered not only how powerful you are but what your purpose is now now you're utilizing all of your your cerebral faculties if you will you're psychic you're intuitive you're discerning and you're trusting all of that and it's moving you in the right direction because the work that you've put in is now going to be rewarded the work that you've put in scorpios you will be recognized spirit has has recognized you this is the seven and we have been seeing sevens because I've been sharing them with you and if you saw those posts when you saw them that was divine timing for you because it was a message for you as well like I said I know when I am to share the messages that come to me or in, and when I am to hold it for myself sacredly and so with these sevens that's been popping up I already know without a shadow of a doubt that you all are chosen and that you are spiritual beings having a human experience it's, it's like we got Bob Marley she's gone playing right now and when I hear she's gone I'm hearing old Helen is gone you know and that's from that movie um what is the name of that movie? I referenced it many times, but that's the first thing I heard in my mind's eye. She's gone. Old Helen is gone, meaning the old person you're expecting is no she no longer resides here. That 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 person has died, that person has relocated, that person no longer exists in this reality, in this in this physical body or in this avatar. So whomever you are, whether it's a he, just switch it. He, she, no longer they're gone. So if there are, um, there's like, a, it's like almost like even an ego death. But that movie was um, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. So it's like throughout the movie, she was being mistreated by this masculine energy, her husband. Um, and then she parted ways, found herself, went through a spiritual awakening. And he went through something very tumultuous. She was there for him. Uh, and he was trying to treat her when he came up out of the situation that she helped him from. Um, he was trying to treat her like the old version of herself. And she had to break it down. Like, look, beloved, who you think I am I, is she no longer exists. So I just feel like that's another way to say, especially with that, that um, rebirth. I don't know why I put it over there with that rebirth. That's like the death, you know, uh, death is, you know, um, the death card usually is insinuating that there is a rebirth. You know, that is the reincarnation of you. That is an emergence of someone new. That's an emergence of something new. Um, like I said, like a new ideology, belief system, behavior, habit, um, whatever it is. We have Jody Watley, and this is called um, Don't You Want Me? And so maybe that's what led to some sort of transformation is rejection. 
um, and rejection not just only has to be from you know a, a beloved you know a, a love ship it could be you know feeling abandonment in your childhood from a family member from a mother a father um, you know being abandoned as a child going through some sort of uh, childhood trauma uh, because you know some of you all could have grew up in foster care uh, some of you all could have found out you know recently that you were adopted and who you've been calling umi and baba aren't ne you know your biological umi and baba so you know with don't you want me some of you felt rejected some of you may have felt like that was you know that's what led to the 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 you know the dark night of the soul um, experience for you all where you may not have felt good enough you may not have felt loved appreciated or valued and so maybe there was something that triggered that particular work maybe you had to um, you know start doing that inner work but whatever it was um, you're now emerging completely um, in your power because uh, this is about personal growth this is about growing spiritually uh, growing emotionally as well, um, as well as physically, you know, uh, but this is really about your personal growth, your personal journey, and it has ascended you to the crown. Like I said, the crown um, represents that cerebral power. Um, so you all could be very psychic. You could be very in tune, tapped in to Mother Gaia. You could be very much in tune with your angels, ancestors, deities. Uh, you may have very lucid dreams. Some of you all may astral travel. Um, some of you all could just be very, very uh, powerful. Your, your cerebral powers are amplified. Um, the next card that came out was self-discipline. So I strongly feel like, again, with that number five, um, this was a lesson for some some of you all to learn to focus more on the self and not to be so self-compensating, self-sabotaging, um, you know, you self-sabotaging and overcompensating in your connections, in your relationships, to not hold back when there's a need to open up your throat chakra and express your truth or um, stand your ground. Um, this is what self-discipline is about. Self-discipline is about you finding your voice and utilizing it in the right way, not to tear anyone down because the tongue, it could be a weapon of choice or it could be you know um, a blessing you could speak love and light on people but your tongue is also a weapon as well and I feel like with that five is it's really um, so whatever energy you started to channel you got into the flow um, of things I feel like you really got into a flow and that's where you started to discover what your true purpose and what your true passion was and it taught you to have self-control opposed to perhaps maybe in the past you would have blew up if somebody came at you the wrong way you would have blew up got into an argument a debate would have been damn near close to you know wanting to throw throw hands um, and then it got to the point where you started to work on yourself and the more you started to learn the more you started to throw yourself into whatever those um, whatever those lessons were uh, whatever books you were reading um, to those teachings that taught you uh, you know that 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 yourself uh, your self worth value um, love is all encompassing in self discipline but when you started to learn um, who you were, the more you started to soak up that knowledge from whomever you were learning it from. Like I said, whether it was a book, a master teacher, an elder, uh, you know, whomever, um, it, it helps you to develop a sense of discipline um, to not just be reactive, but be proactive to stay ahead of the game. This five is about seeking wise counsel but also it's a number of spiritual strength you are you have obtained and tapped into that spiritual strength you're in the flow and in that flow you start to discover as I said what your purpose is some of you all started to realize that you were a natural at playing a piano you just started to play and you could just play by by sound um, some of you may have learned that you are a natural when it comes to you know cardomancy and you just started picking up the cards and intuitively you was able to just read maybe some of you all just started you started to tap into that energy that spiritual energy that God you know that that God frequency you tapped into that frequency and 
it really illuminated something within you. It opened up. It waked. It awakened something within you, and and that is what led to uh, you know this evolution of you. You know this beautiful energy. This seven and this five reduces to twelve, which um, reduces to three. Um, so there was a lot of time uh, that you you had to take you know a lot of sacrifices had to be made uh for you to get to this place and i feel through that self-assessment because that's really the only judgment we should ever have um if you want to call it judgment i maybe i should just call it what it is assessment you know reflective um reflect reflecting um introspecting whenever you that's the only you know um assessments that we should take into consideration um the only judgment we should have is when we are correcting behavior our behavior opposed to trying to um justify you know misbehavior so i feel like you know with the self-discipline that's also keeps you in harmony as well it keeps you accountable you know what i'm talking about and so we have marvin gay this is called um symphony and um so just as I was saying, some of you all may have discovered that you are um, musicians or you play instruments. Uh, you could be playing um, in, a, in, a, in, a in, in a symphony or in an orchestra. Some of you all may like actually be a part of a band, you know, because I'm getting banned with that symphony because uh, it takes a whole um, a whole uh, group of. Of individuals to create you know that that symphony to create you know that that sound that comes with an orchestra very beautiful so I strongly feel like you know whatever this is this is like that symphony is just saying you're tapping in to that artistic to that creative energy because that five which is associated with the throat chakra and is 4343 um, is really saying that you know, that's a form of expression, whatever this is. So whatever it is you are spiritually um, called to do, it has something to do with your ex expression. You could be communicating or you could be crafting because um, that's a part of expression. It's like how you show up in the world, what defines you, what makes you, when you wake up in the a.m., it's like, you know what you're called to do. And I feel like that's you only you know what that is. And through the process of healing, you discover that. So that's powerful. So we got a message from look at this. I mentioned the base chakra, and here it is. So this is from a completely different deck. Mind you, I'm using numerology deck, and this is from Psychic Tarot. So this just shows me that you all have had um exactly you know been healing like i said from them past life traumas your childhood traumas um healing at a soul level 4444 four, four, four. your angels and guides are absolutely with you and they have been the ones kind of nudging you and you know giving you the divine interventions needed so that you could go back and do that work as i said every great healer has to first heal themselves and this base chakra deals with scorpionic energy so this is really about your security your stability some of you all may have grew up like i said feeling abandoned because you may have gone through something in your lives which made you feel like you weren't good enough you were insecure because of that reason maybe someone you know some of you all felt rejected in relationships maybe you felt like there was favoritism in your family maybe you felt like your family overlooked your accomplishments um you know or was just simply the odd person out, the odd man out, odd woman out, you know, the black sheep. But it was all by design because you all have a calling in your life. And I feel like the more you started to go deep, the more you started to heal, the more you started to stand more perpendicular in your square and stand erect, the more you started to discover that that was absolutely all it was all intentional. Spirit has a calling on your life. And so you have to go through things in order to grow. You have to be able to overcome circumstances in order to help others to get out of the search, to get out of their circumstances. So it's all by design. So this is powerful, beloved. So let's see what else we have. What? Look at this. Spiritual career. I can't make this up. So it came back out. A bunch of cards just chose themselves. And I always take cards that just jump out of my hand because spirit is like, here, here's the message. You don't need to shuffle nothing. Bam. There it is. 78. Absolutely. This is spirit confirming, stamping approval. 
You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to affirm this message. Y'all need to own this. Like this, claim it. This is your message. You are absolutely healers. And um, you are shamans. Some of you all are light workers. Some of you all are clairvoyants, clairaudience. Some of you all are musicians. Some of you all are just, you know, your teachers. You are natural born teachers. You are here to heal. You're healers. So you have gifts and skills and talents that you were born here with so that you could help others you're like you're as i said earlier it's like you are meant to usher in new energy so you, you wow this is powerful and we have angela bofield and this is called i try and so try is a word i don't even like you know whenever i say it you know because it's i mean 40 something years of saying a word it kind of gets hard to just completely zap it out but um i correct myself and that's the most important so instead of saying try do you need to eradicate any word that makes it seem like there's a hump over it you know and it's 47 47 that's 11 11 that's a pillar so a lot of you all are pillars you are here to to bring to to like usher in the the wise dome that people need so that they can continue their pur their purpose their their um their journey uh with i try i feel like a lot of you all have been trying to figure out what your purpose is you've been trying to communicate and that's the problem you don't try you do you know what i'm talking about like instead of trying to do something some of you all are like well i'm trying to connect with spirit but i don't know how or i'm trying to figure out what my purpose is but i don't know i i don't get no messages i try to do this and i try to do some of you all are you're trying yourselves to death like you got to stop trying and just do you know what i'm saying you just got to take the leap like my daughter says like take the leap and and see where it lands you um but if you don't believe, nobody else is going to believe. Um, spirit definitely ain't going to sit there wasting their time while you're sitting there talking about what you're trying to do. And they're showing you what you can do. They're showing you what you are here to do. And you still talk about, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, well, you keep on trying while I go over here and help some people that know. You know, like I said, there got to be a knowingness. So the spiritual career, you, you can't be in no energy of trying when you are here to do spiritual, you know, and psychic surgeries on folks. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're here to help heal. You're here to be that conduit of change. You can't be, you know, flip floppy and on the fence doing that. It's just there's no place for that. So you got to know, not try. So if some of you all say try eradicate that word out of your vocabulary just like a host of other words you hear me tell y'all to stop saying because it's just there's no place for it because the, those are all vibrations let me get one more message from my beloved let me get a message from my beautiful scorpio spirit this is again like i said your bonus message spirit was putting it on my heart like and I was even feeling it in that, that video, like, you know, these love messages, it's getting a little bit, it's too much. We need to just focus on, you know, the, the energy. We're in a spiritual time, so we're going to start focusing on the spiritual energy. And we got kindred, um, the family soul here. And look what it says. It says, surrender to love. So kindred. So you definitely have, you know, and kindred, you have a kindred spirit. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a love um, connection. You know, it could just be your soulmates, other like minds, your soul tribe. You know, this that's another energy. So it's like surrender to opening up your heart chakra or opening up yourselves to having other experiences. Because some of you all are very closed and, 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 and very guarded and you're not allowing new energy to come in because you're holding on to old faulty belief systems. And if you are working on yourself, then there is no place for fear. There's no place for doubt or questioning you just go with the flow you gotta you just have to trust your intuition so we got 13 effort on the bottom of the deck when i looked so yeah spirit is saying like i said just take that take that leap and make the effort you know you have to be in charge of you know wherever it is you're heading so this card is literally standing out and we're going to see what that is so we have 87 and it says synchronicity so pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Some of you all, look what's on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. 77. 
77. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you see what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Can you hear me? 77 spirituality. You are absolutely on the frequency. You're on the vibration. You are to listen and trust your own intuition. Spirit is sending you signs. Spirit is going to send you signs by all means. It could be dream activity. And like I said, if you remember your dream, that wasn't a dream. That was a message. It could be a feather floating by and landing on you. It could be a bird outside your window every day for seven days. And it's the same bird and it's calling. It could be a cardinal. It can be an owl. It can weep. It could be an, a, a, a blue heron flying by your window. You could have a, a sensation, your ear ringing, your hand tingling, your nose itching, whatever, whatever these synchronized messages are, you got to pay attention. And the only way that you could know if a message is for you is if you are utilizing your own intuition and discernment. You have to trust in your gut that that message is for you. When you question it, you miss out. You miss the opportunity because the door is opened. But the door also closes. So there are messages that are going to be coming through. This 15, this 8 and 7 reduces to 15, that's 6. That spirit saying, use discernment. Trust your intuition. Use your first eye to see. Your two is, it doesn't, you don't need the two. You need the first eye to see so that you can know when spirit is communicating with you. And you all are tapped in, tuned in, just as I said. Whatever you are setting intention for, it is coming back. It is coming back to you. This is what you've been working for. That 14 that we saw earlier that said moderation. And I was telling you how spiritual that is because that's an energy of tutelage, of studentship, seeking wise counsel, reading, researching, documenting, journaling. And now look at it. Look where you've ascended all the way to the crown chakra because you did your due diligence. This is really a powerful, powerful message, y'all. Y'all are on your squares, beloved. I love it. So let's tap in. Being as though, let me get some message. No, I'm not going to pull that. We already got our that message. Let's get the um, let's get some messages from African American Tarot. All right, come on. You want to come out of the box or no? Nah? You know what spirit is saying. That's why it's not coming out because spirit is like use traditional, use traditional. I was, I was, I heard it, but I was ignoring it, and that's why I couldn't get it out of the box. Because they was like, no, I don't want you to use that deck. I want you to use the traditional drum. Okay. Copy. 10-4. <laughs> and this is not the traditional tarot deck. Where are you? Okay, there it is. All right, let me put these cards back. All right, look what's on the bottom of the deck, beloveds. We got justice. So everything will be hand handled fairly and justly. Justly, this is ma'at. So, absolutely balance. Balance is being restored. I feel like all of the work, all of the effort, everything you've been through. Remember, we saw that karmic completion. It's like now justice is being restored. Everything will work out in your favor. I feel like you all are coming into a time where there's, you know, some sort of truth something will be revealed what do we have playing we got lucy pearl lucy pearl is playing and it says without you so i feel like you know without you going through these experiences you would have never you know found like that that diamond that you know because I'm just getting a sense with lucy pearl you know the pearl is inside of a clam and that clam is like shut tight you know and so without you being very, I would say, um, very uh, persistent and consistent on your, your, your voyage, on your journey. Let me open this up. It's getting a little too dark in here. I hope this glow doesn't bother y'all, but I can't see, beloved. It's a little too dark. But, um, you know, without y'all being persistent and consistent on your quest to find truth, because that sword that she holds represents truth. And she's holding the scales because this is about like, OK, um, how honest have you been on this journey? Are you being honest with yourself? You know, uh, that that scale represents the balance, you know, and, you know, I always liken justice to mother, you know, Mama Ma'at because Mama Ma'at is also um, she holds the scale with which 
weighs the heart and the feather. And so it's like, is your heart pure? You know, and without you being honest and transparent, um, you would not have made it this far. I feel like you may have brought, uh, you know, you may have cleared up, I feel, a lot of uh, karmic debt, you know, as of recently as well. Like you really cleared it up without you being persistent. We have the four of cups here and justice. You know, so some of you all are really in this space where perhaps there were some times where you were feeling, you know, kind of like left out, you know, as I said, and spirit was always giving you, you know, the signs and the synchronicities, but some of you all were too stubborn, you know, look at the body language, like, no, just pouting and, and spirit is showing you like, yo, you, you couldn't even recognize God when, when they presented himself, you know? And so, like I said, when that door opens, it also closes and and so there were many times where you may have missed out on opportunities because you were stuck in a in a place of low, you know, low vibration. Woe is me, self-loathing. Um, but I feel without you uh, doing your new, you know, your necessary work, um, you would not have made it this far. Is what I'm giving getting, and we are about to clarify this energy for uh, rebirth. And remember what I said about Scorpios being very stubborn and being very like fixed. So it can be very difficult sometimes to accept change. Spirit was offering you a whole new experience, but you were sitting here focusing on these three that has already passed. So this is like being stuck in your ways, being, you know, uh, almost like a control freak, you know, sitting here wanting to whine and, 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 you know, whine about what has already transpired opposed to seeing this golden opportunity, this new opportunity that could bring just as much happiness as these opportunities. But if you're not ready, then until you learn, that's when, you know, and that's a part of your justice as well. That was a part of your karma was, you know, some of the decisions some of you all have made, uh, which led to, you know, that disappointment and feeling like, you know, that, that woe with me energy, you know. So what we have um, playing right now is Mary J. Blige, you remind me. So that's like, a, um, you know, that reminiscent energy. But look at this. See that? You took your power back. You started to do your due diligence. Um, you started to really like... Take control of your sub subconscious mind. Uh, you started to just, you know, learn to trust the process. You started to heal at a soul level. And more importantly, you braved your light. So whatever it was you was afraid of initially through that transformation process, you realized you got infinite possibilities out here. And something that has occurred in the past can't hold you back from what's meant for you in your future. So you started to really focus on braving your light and being courageous and being more daring, more risky. She's sitting here taming this lion. And the lion is the king of the jungle. And he's sitting here acting like a little puppy. You know, and that's because you took your power back. It's because you went through that process. Like I said, you transmute energy. You are the conduit of change. When you changed your mind and your belief about yourself, everything around you fell in line. It's like you attracted what you are. This this lion said, wow, she's not afraid of me. I'm not afraid of her. So, and this is a beautiful love story, right? Here. Not love story, but you know what I mean? Like this is this is like this is a beautiful energy because it's like there's no fear here. Fear is false expectations and fear and real, beloveds. So it's like the things that scare you the most are the things you are to, you know, go out and, and, and do. Those are, that's what you've got to first conquer. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful Scorpios. We get a message of love and a message of light for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. So some of y'all could be like up in your head reminiscing, thinking, you know. Some of y'all, there was something from the past that led to, you know, this 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 transformation, this startling metamorphosis, realizing that you didn't go through anything. You grew through it. You know, this is powerful energy. You remind you were reminded who you were. You were reminded your birthright says that you are you are royalty, beloveds. You're royalty. It's beautiful, man. So bottom of the deck is clarifying 16 and we have this moon. What did I say about shadow work? And we got the strength here. So you started to look deep within, you know, this is about going deep in within deep diving, 
and discovering what was hidden, discovering the flaws, discovering some of the, the, the ideologies, belief systems, you know, behaviors, maybe even some of the, the um, you know, some of the things that you were taught, you know, you were discovering like what was holding you back. And these two uh, towers represent, you know, like that, that balance that needed to happen. There had to be some sort of uh, transform, tr some sort of ending, um, which led to this transformation. So something had to occur, you know, it had to occur, you know, as above, so below. So whatever went, you went through, you know, whether it was in this, this lifetime or a former lifetime, it's like that needed to be healed. And when you healed that, that's when you were able to really like, you know, emerge as this, this different person. But that's about doing that shadow work. That's about, you know, taking that mask off or, you know, removing the veil, you know, from your eyes and no longer living in that illusion. That's powerful, beloveds. And so we have strength here for you all. Now you're, you're standing very, very powerfully, very confidently, you know. You're, you're stronger. And we got Snoop Dogg featuring um, Dave East. And it's called Crippin' for Life. But what I'm getting is like you, you weren't allowing anything to cripple you. You know? And this is number 41, self-discipline. Like not allowing certain things to kind of like cripple you. Meaning like to, to hold you back. You know, to, to, to have you feeling handicapped or incompetent or, you know, feeling, um, you know, some sort of, inhib you know, inhibited in a way. So it's like you, you had to take your power back. Self-discipline is about, you know, putting you first and not putting circumstances before you. You got you to gotta practice self-preservation out here first and foremost. You know, they say the strong survives. I believe that was a Darwin um, quote or belief, you know, is that the strong survives and the weak shall, you know, perish. And so with this self-discipline, this is about like asserting yourself, being assertive, not sitting around and, and whining and crying about what ended, what happened, who hurt you. Cause that's that energy of the four of cups, just sitting there moping and whining and complaining. Ugh, they did this to me. Like, nah, Self-discipline is like, you know, finally taking that power back and saying, okay, shake it off, beloved. You know, the journey still continues. And that's that energy where you, instead of sitting in that energy uh, of, of being super emotional, which is your energy, and, and that's the, the, the plight of a Scorpio is to learn how to balance the emotions. You could, you know, you so you got to know how to work with all the elements because if you dealing with fire energy, and, and somebody says something, and like I said, you know, tick, tick, boom. It could be a situation where you could fly off the handle. So when you learn to balance, remember that genius of love. When you learn to, to become more emotionally intelligent, that's how you find that equilibrium within yourself. And this is how you were able to say, okay, let me refocus that energy into something more creative. And that's when you tap into your divinity of, of, of that divine feminine and masculine because you're utilizing that energy towards something creative or something artistic it's a it's like a flow that you get into and that's where that strength that strength is birthed within that's beautiful so let's tap in so why is this 41 self-discipline here for my beautiful scorpios and then we're gonna wrap it up why is this 41 here for self-discipline thank you spirit thank you spirit so we got this knight of wands look at that fearless determined confident powerful Moving forward, look at that. Didn't I tell y'all that chariot? I mentioned the chariot, and that's exactly what it is. Now you're being more assertive. Now you're being more assertive because this is the seven. And remember, we had that rebirth. Remember, when you do your work, when you do that shadow work, now you can move forward. And that's what you was doing. You was doing that shadow work. This moon, this is what's hidden. You know, those are the secrets. That's the secret ways you speak to yourself. The self-talk. Remember, we had our try. And I was like, look, if you sitting here talking about what you're going to try to do, let me know how that works out for you. You know what I'm talking about? And so this is about being more confident, more assertive. This is about having that emotional equilibrium. This is about even being strong enough to be able to lead. You got to be a leader, a boss. That was that number four that opened up your reading. 
That's that emperor energy, that confidence. And when you have this energy on the bottom of the deck, that's that's triple speed. Like you 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 moving mountains out here. Look at the energy, the force. You know, because this Knight of Wands rushes in. This is quick quick movements. You know, action. It's very action oriented. Like I said in the beginning, you got to be proactive, not reactive. And that's what you're doing. This is that powerful energy of the chariot. It moves with a force. But look at the yin-yang vibration. Balance, beloved. Got to be balanced. You got to be strategic. This is beautiful. It's also about balancing that masculine and feminine property. And we got Dave East again. And he's singing me and mines. So yeah, that's what you started to focus on. Self-preservation. Me and mine. You started to worry about you and stopped caring about everything and everyone outside of you and your 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 um your household or your infrastructure it had to be about cuz you can only heal yourself first you can only lead yourself first you can't heal and lead anybody if you haven't done the work on yourself you, it's just not possible so let's see what this is why is this base chakra here for our beautiful scorpios may I have a message of love and light thank you spirit and we got the Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. Very beautiful. So look at that. See that? This is the healing. Wasn't taking action. You was being obedient. You said, okay, enough of the self-loathing. Let me reflect. Let me ponder. This is beautiful energy because this is what you started to realize. Like, oh, snap. I'm carrying baggage out here. I'm on my bag lady, bag man thing. Bag lady, you gonna hurt your back. Dragging all them bags like that. I guess nobody ever told you. All you must hold on to is you, is you, is you. Look at that. That's what you started to realize. Like, dang, I've been kind of holding on to all of this trauma, all of this rejection, all of these, you know, you know, all these traumatic experiences, you know, that's what you started to realize, the abandonment, you was holding on to all of that, and but now you're taking onus, you're healing, you're not taking action until you feel like you're balanced and in alignment, you know what I'm talking about, this is very powerful, you healing you, like he said, me and mine's. You got to worry about you first. You got to, this is self-preservation. You ain't answering no phone calls. Your phone is on do not disturb airplane mode. And you're taking the necessary time to go within. That's where the answers are found within. And we got the 10 of Pentacles and we're about to clarify the spiritual career. As I said, when you have a calling and a, an anointing on your life, you're not going to have to worry about how this bill going to get paid, how you going to get from A to Z. Everything is going to be provided you are going to be blissed. You are blissed. Ain't no going to. You are blissed. You have an anointing. Your job is to wake up to it. And to channel it. And utilize it. And know it. This is powerful, beloved. Why is 78 spiritual career here for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my goodness. Two of the cards I mentioned. The nine of the pentacles. Pre-emperor status. And the hierophant. Didn't I say that energy of the hierophant is you in an, uh, that studious and tutelage. You're like learning. You're absorbing. You're soaking up knowledge. Look at these students sitting at the feet just absorbing all the knowledge. This, this, this um, master teacher is, is, is imparting. You know, he's, he's an already. He's teaching. This could be your energy. Whatever you're doing. Look at the world right here. The world, I'm hearing, he got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in it. That's what I just heard when I saw that. But this is the spiritual career. This is what you've led to. Your hard work pays off. You didn't just get here. This wasn't just by happenstance. This ain't no accident. You didn't just trip and fall into this anointing. Like this was always a calling on your life. But it was your job to go through whatever you went through. Remember, we saw karmic completion. And now that you've learned the lessons, this is showing spiritual strength, wise dome. You've obtained the knowledge, the fruits of knowledge. And now you are going to be living in all of this splendor. Absolutely beautiful. Doing something you love. Doing something you absolutely love. This is beautiful. Good Lord. 
Amen, amen, amen. I'm in raw. All right. So we got the world here. So pay attention to your surroundings. I feel like some of you all are going to be traveling around the world. Or you're going to be healing people from all parts of the world. You're going to be touching souls, anointing people from all parts of the world. Like there's going to be a lot of spiritual connections. Some of you all are going to be like really tapping in to like your soul family, your soul tribe. This is beautiful, man. Why is this um, synchronicity 87 here? Why is synchronicity um, this number 87 here for the outcome? For my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, spirit. See that? Ten of Swords. This is the end of being lost in translation. This is being able to see everything that was hidden. You see how this clouds are kind of dissipating and the sun is starting to shine. That's the clarity. So whatever, this is again showing the ten of, like the ten, um, karmic completions. Like all of the pain, all of the backstabbing, all of the rejection, all of the all of that that you were dealing with. That's why you were going through the base. This 10 reduces to 1. So it's like you started to pay attention to things around you, people around you. started to listen to your intuition more. And that's how you were able to see things for what they were. And you were no longer living in the illusion. And those people that you felt betrayed and backstabbed by, you started to realize like they were mere, they were mere mortals. They were mere mortals just like you. And that's why you're going to be blissed. That's why you're going to be rewarded and acknowledged. We have, this is um, self-destruction playing. And this is a, a plethora, of, this is a host of different artists. And I feel like that's where you were heading. The longer you were in the dark, you were heading, you know, you was in, you, it was self-destruction. You were destroying yourself because you were probably allowing other people to take advantage of you. You could have been lying to yourself. You could have been self-sabotaging, overcompensating, you know what I'm saying? And then you were projecting whatever insecurities or whatever confusion onto others when it's always, a, it that's a you problem. I don't care what anybody else does to you. It, if, if it affects you, that speaks to the healing you have to do. Because nobody should have any type of power over you to hurt you, harm you, or affect your mood. You know, it's even in the 42 laws of Ma'at, you know, that no one has angered me. You know, anger is a form of, you know, of power. If someone has the power to, to anger you, then they have the power to control you. So they can literally come into your life just to manipulate your energy and then jump off with all of that energy and be happy while you're sitting here trying to figure out what's wrong. What's wrong is you relinquished your power to someone, you know. But this Ten of Pentacles, beloved, I love it. Spirit is rewarding you because I feel like many of you have absolutely, you saw the light, you know, you have the clarity. Remember that justice card showed up. So whatever happened to you in your past, it's a, as I said, like things are turning out in your favor. It's turning around. This Ten of Swords is painful. Oh, Lord, that's painful. That, 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 that right there don't feel good. That don't feel good at all, beloved. But at the same time, the rebirth, you know, the same time, that, that new look, that new you, you know, that's, that's the part that's refreshing. And this Ten of Pentacles that's waiting for you shows stability, security, financially free, independent, infinite supply, better days ahead, happily ever after, happy spouse, happy well, house, if that's in your cards. This is generational wealth. This is, this is building a legacy. This is having loyalty, you know, loyal friends, you know, this is about having faithful friends, faithful partnerships unions connections and this archway is another sign sign to show that you are ordained you are preordained i should say and destined for greatness and whoever you're coming into partnership with whether it be a divine feminine or masculine you both will have this success you may meet your partner doing something that you love Whatever it may be. But there's success there for you. And this is your reading, beloveds. I will that the message is resonated. I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe to you all. Peace, love, and light.